everybody, Billy from Mutation Creation. Today's video, we're gonna look at the, the boas. We've had a lot of people ask, it's like, hey Billy, what's going on with your boas? So we're gonna uh, show you them. I only have four right now. I've got three others that'll be coming in, probably April, May. Uh, once the weather gets uh, warmer, I'll bring them in. And uh, yeah, I'll still be looking for some more. But here's what we have right now. First, huge shout out, Black Sun Reptiles. Slacking on the back? Nope. Perfect. Go and check them out. So here, we've got them all now. They're away from the ball pythons. They've got their own rack. We're gonna start with this one here. I'll pull this one down so that you guys can see. There's the red dragon female. That is an albino blood. She's really awesome. Look at her head. Her head's nice and orange. She likes to move and travel, as you can see. And as if you remember, she was one of the, the ones that was actually in the, uh, the frozen shipment from FedEx and doing well, really lively, <laughs> really lively. Look at her. So, been doing well. We're starting to get her on bigger, bigger meals now. I was feeding all these, even the ball pythons. Something really small. She's not gonna let me put this back. So I'm gonna have to do this. Hold on, ready? Here. No, it's not gonna happen. Hold on. Round your neck. Yeah, I'm gonna try, but the thing is. No. Nope. I'm gonna hold it. Yeah, you hold it. Cause she, she likes the tour. There we go. So taking these down, I thought it was gonna be a lot easier. <laughs> but uh, yeah, she's awesome. She's doing really well. Hasn't missed a meal since I fed her. So really happy. That was one I was really looking forward to getting. Really amazing animal. Can't wait to produce more of those in the future. Uh, next, we have the VPI Snow. So right here, VPI, albino. I'm gonna say, I'm pretty sure it's anery, right? Yep. Yeah, okay. I gotta, I gotta learn all these. I'm, I'm totally new still. So, but yeah, she's just awesome as well. I love her pattern. These aren't called saddles. What are they call, called in boas? Pretty sure they're called saddles. Are they called saddles yeah. too? I thought they were called something else. Bow Ladders? Bow ties. Oh, bow ties or ladders. It's more of a ladder with the motley. Yeah, oh yeah, ladder tail, I don't know. I'm, I'm learning guys, so bear well, with Roswell me. Roswell ladder tail is another genius. Yeah, right? yeah, so all you boa guys out there going, Billy man, no, I'm like, I'm learning man. I'm, I'm no expert at this, I'm learning. I'm not in a rush, I'm, I'm taking my time with these, but uh, I, I will get it down. But yeah, just, just amazing, I love the color. You know, the tail looks awesome. So, relax. Boas just don't like going back in their tubs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there she is. There we go. Popping her head out. There we go. So this one here, if we're not gonna pull out, I think we can view her, I think you'll be at the side. This is the super fire. The little freckles are coming in or spots. But if you remember, she was that very, very hissy, aggressive one. She's doing much better now. Lord of Lions been handling her a lot. Austin as well, the same here. So she's not as, as you can see now, she's, you know, really tame compared to before we just opened up her tub and she'd be hissing. Hissing, striking. Yeah, striking, hissing. But yeah, doing awfully well, growing, you know, really well. So, really cool. All white. A little bit of freckles on her. Yeah, they, they've come in as she's growing. And then, last but not least, this is the Annery Motley IMG. Oh, of course she's in shed. So, 
she's in, in, in shed. Tell by her eyes, they're very opaque. Okay, and if you look at her belly, she's really going blue. This will actually go baby blue. You know, in a few more days, this is it's amazing how bright blue, like baby, baby blue, this whole belly will be. But you can see, you can see she's doing really well. She's got some great size to her. The iridescence is just crazy. Yeah, she's, she's amazing. And she's been puppy dog tame since day one. She bit me once. Did she? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Just, it was a, like, she almost fell well, off. Well, your puppy me. dog made tame to me. Right. So, maybe your hand smelled like a rat. No, she almost fell off my shoulder and then she bit me trying to stay on. Oh, well, of course. On. Well, there you go. Um, and as if you notice, she's a little, um, well, not a little, she's in blue. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little bit of water and I'm just going to pour it on the substrate just so that it, you know, it raises the humidity up a little. And I'm sure she'll soak in the, uh, in the tub, or in the tub, in, in the water dish to get some more. But uh, that's that. So yeah, they're all doing well. I'm excited to have them. Um, you know, I got a few different ones so I can enjoy their beauty, um, learn about them. I got a lot of learning to do. I got to start, you know, they don't have clutches, they have litters. I screw that up a few times. I'm getting better at that. Uh, but learning the genetics behind them, um, and like I said, some of these won't be breeding for another three years or so. So I'm in no rush. I'm just going to enjoy them, handle them, um, get the, you know, I got a long way to still learning genetics and crosses and what doesn't work and, and things like that. Um, hopefully maybe, uh, within the year I can, I can breed the, uh, the IMG Annery Motley, which will be great. I have a male coming in for, for her. Um, and, uh, yeah. So that being said, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, keep the comments coming in, and we'll see you next video.